All right, good afternoon to everybody. Hope everyone is doing well. Firstly, thank you very much for your patience for this post-match press conference between Jamaica and Qatar. Again, thank you very much for your patience. It was decided upon that it would be better to have this sort of setting at the hotel instead of at the stadium itself because of the, the instability of the internet connections there as well. And of course, giving the players an opportunity to have a meal as well after the, the game that they had as well. So we're back at the hotel now. As to my immediate right, we have uh, captain for today's game, Adrian Mariapa, and of course, head coach, Heimer Halgrimson. Before we get into the question and answer section, what we will do is firstly hear from Mariapa himself, as we heard from coach at uh, the start of the, the pre-match. So just to get some feedback from, from Adrian. Adrian, firstly, being back in camp, what is it the, the, the feeling like, you know, training with the, the new guys in camp and, of course, the performance from today's game. Yeah, I mean, the feeling in camp has been good. Um, getting, to new, getting to know the new players, um, obviously meeting up with uh, some old faces as well. So, yeah, it's gone good so far. I think, the like I said, nice positive feel. Um, and, yeah, obviously, you know, disappointed with today's today's result. And uh, I think, the you know, the performance in the first half, I um, thought we were a lot better in the second half. Um, so yeah, just uh, I think going forward into the, the next game now, um, you know, learning those vital lessons going forward. Coach, same for you in terms of your thoughts of the the performance in today's encounter, the first match on tour in in Austria. Yeah, di disappointed first of all with uh, with the losing. We never like losing. Um, sometimes you say uh, uh, a bad result, but a good performance. But I would need to say and have to say now it was both. A bad result, and I think it was a bad performance, in the sense that we can do much better than we did today. So, could probably find uh, some excuses for it. I think the beginning of the game showed that it is two weeks, three weeks, even four weeks since the players played the last match. Most of them are coming back to training uh, and playing from a holiday, so. So I knew they would be rusty. I hope we would have more trainings prior to the game. So, uh, but but I think overall we we can see a lot of things we need to fix and improve quickly. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. We'll see in the next next performance. But I, I I was disappointed both with the performance and the result. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Adrian. So this is the opportunity now, folks, where you indicate by raising your hand and you'll be identified. Once you're identified, identify yourself and your organization and proceed to ask your question. You are allowed two questions per individual, one for coach and also one to Adrian as well. So you may proceed to raise your hand and we will get started with proceedings in the question and answer segment. <laughs> not all at once guys <laughs> uh, yes yes anybody questions all right let's start with uh, mg sports you may go ahead um you hear me clearly yes i can you can proceed uh good afternoon coach um mariapa and simon um, um question to, to the coach um based off today's performance i know you're looking at players going into the gold cup um competition based off today's performance would you say you have seen any positive or any player that you said that this player would have taken a claim moving towards the gold cup uh, um, um squad selection yeah first of all I, i'm i'm if I can look at the positives, I think first of all to play this game without an injury, so so early in the restart of, of training, I think that is a big positive for us. It's always risky this first match and this early in training, so that that is a positive. Regarding the players, yes, there's, there's uh, some of the, them had really good performances. We are seeing or I am seeing the first time. Dijon Bernard played thirty minutes, uh, and Latte Batier played. 90 minutes today um, so it's, it's it, that was really pleasing for me to see uh, them coming in without almost any training sessions a few meetings and uh, maybe an hour and a half on the pitch 
So that was pleasing for me. Uh, and I knew, and I know some of the players now that, that were today normally give a good performance. So, so I was pleased with that. They, they're keeping their standards, but yeah, I think most of the players can say I can do a lot better than I did today. So to be fair, to answer the question, I think that they were more like players that punch themselves out than punch themselves in in the, the game today. But on an, in all honesty, I think um, I think it's normal the perform that the performance is not top level in the first game in two training sessions and then one game. Um, question, any question for Adrian? Yeah, question to Adrian. Um, as an as, as an experienced member in the squad, um, this squad has a lot of new players, new faces, as also young players, um, i.e., like um, Mr. Dujan Richard. What role do you play in grooming these players? at the international level? Yeah, obviously just just having dialogue with them every day, getting to know them as people. Um, but they've integrated themselves really well into the squad anyway. And it's a squad where if you are a new player, it is easy to, to integrate yourself. Um, obviously having the more training sessions you have, the more games you have, you get to know what's expected and, and the standards that are expected as well. And, you know, for those players as well, it's about bringing, you know, what they bring to the table to the squad as well. So, um, so yeah, look, as an experienced player, it's, it's, you know, there's no special thing I have to do. It's just obviously making them feel welcomed and, you know, trying to get the best out of them and making the, the environment, um, you know, one that, that produces that. All right, thank you. Thanks very much, MG. Let's now go over to Tyrone Davis from Sports Down the Middle. Thank you, Simon. Um, good day, coach and good um, assistant, Simon. Um, today's game, um, did you have anybody in particular that you can single out that said um, they did an excellent job? Well, I don't want to take anyone uh, kind of out from this game because in the end, I don't think we can, we can use it as a reference but it's a really good start for the campaign. I don't want to take a, a player, but I, like I said before, for the first time seeing Latipetier, I know he's normally not playing central midfield, but he's a really a versatile player. So, so for me, it was pleasing to see a guy coming in, playing 90 minutes and doing a good job in a position that he's normally not playing. But it's so important when you go into a tournament like, a, like the Gold Cup to have a player that can play more than one position. So we can we can change tactically without doing a substitution, uh, and and we can we can do a substitution with without you know doing multiple movements on the on on the pitch without changing many players. So uh, and we don't we don't know in a tournament like this you could lose two right backs or two left backs. So it's good to have versatile players. That that was pleasing for me. Maybe a, a standout. In my eyes, because I hadn't seen him play in the Jamaican shirt before. So, yeah. Okay. And for the next game, any major changes? We're going to see any major changes. Anybody else um, you're going to try? No, this game, we, we, uh, we used all our substitutions, I think. Maybe, maybe you had one more, but uh, this game, only Brandon Clover and Konaya Boyce Clark did not play. So, uh, yeah, we, 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 will, we will not see new faces. We will not see new faces because we don't have them. We, we have 17 players uh, in the squad. So they will hopefully all participate in the next game. Okay, thank you, Coach. All right, thanks, Tiga. Let's now go to Eddie Guna from Eddie Vision. Thank you very much, Simon. Um, good night, gentlemen. Good night. Coach, um, you said that it was a bad performance. Could you give us a grade from one to 10 as it relates to the performance? I would say a five, or I would give it a five, five, five point five. Five point five, okay. And um, going forward, who were some of the standout players? 
No, I, I just just said that I, I don't think there was a standout performance on the pitch today. And mm. I, I said also, understandably, because players are just returning back to training after three weeks, some players two weeks. Uh, and and then we have a few MLS players that are in action at the moment. So, so for me, it is understandable that no one had like a, a um, what do you call it, like a five star performance today. But uh, I would expect a lot of players to have a better form performance next game. And a question for Maps. Go ahead, Eddie. All right, Maria Pa, we're up against Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago once more. Are you looking forward for some form of revenge based on the last two games? Yeah, listen, this is obviously now it's you know tournament football. Um, so it's not friendlies. And you know, we go, we'll be going into this, you know, into the Gold Cup, looking to win every match. Um, so you know, not so much revenge. We're going in there just you know, to do the job. Um, that's all we're focused on. And, you know, I think that's the, that's the way it needs to be. All right. Thank you, Max. Thanks, Eddie. Let's now go to Emil Smith. Yes. Hello. Good night. You guys are hearing me clearly? Yes, you can go ahead. Okay, good day. Um, this this question is is more tailored to both the coach and Mariapa. All right, so we understand that these games will be are are used to prepare the team for the Gold Cup tournament. So now the fans are are really concerned about some of our star players' commitment level, and with this tournament being held, and most of them are, are missing the likes of uh, Leon Bailey, Omari Hutchinson. The Demigre who found out that the paperwork is missing, how impactful are with these these players missing from the squad? How 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 badly will it affect us going forward? Well, Amir, let me just jump in there and coach in the pre-match press conference actually address this point that you know there will be some players actually joining up for the the goal cup that will actually meet us there. So if there is a part two to your question towards maps, or if coach wants to jump in and at an auxiliary point, then no problem. But the the question that you raised, coach addressed it in the pre-match press. Up. About the okay, so I'm assuming that Amari Hutchinson falls into that category as well. So it was a tricky question. It was about Omari, but uh, no, we, we, we said we, we don't want to talk about players who are not here uh, much, uh, but we, we addressed who will be showing up in uh, the players who will be showing up in Chicago when we get there. And I said also, ideally, of course, and that was originally the plan that we could have the final squad here in Austria, but soon we realized by by because of many reasons that we couldn't. So we brought in some younger players here to look at them uh, and to fill up the squad uh, for us here in, in, in Austria. Okay, thanks. And a question for Mariapa. Mariapa, you've been one of Jamaica's most committed and standout players over the years. I, I just want some perspective from you on where you see this Jamaica team going forward under the helm of Coach Algrimson. Yeah, look, I've got high hopes for the for the team and the squad. Um, you know, that's definitely been assembled. You know, the the players that are involved are some real top players and are all, you know, in very good form for their club team. So um, yeah, it's just about gelling that together now. Um, and there's a a packed schedule coming up for, you know, for the next few months and the next few years, really. So, um, so yeah, I've got high hopes for the for the team and the squad, like I said. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Emil. Let's go to Coach Minzi from Coach's Desk. All right. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Um, I'm not sure if this question was asked before, but um, Coach, a few games now, and I know that these games are prep for the Gold Cup. However, are you a bit concerned about not getting any tick in the W column? <laughs> yeah. 
easy easy answer yes i of course i'm concerned i want to win every every match but i i know the difference between uh, a friendly and a and an official game uh, and i i i have always and this is just how i've used my time i've always used the friendlies to think about what is coming up you know i've said many times probably if we went for games and just thinking about winning the matches we would probably set up the team in a different way but we we try to use our friendlies to build and be ready when when the official matches come but if it continues in the gold cup not to get any any check in these boxes of course i will be concerned yes coach right. any question for yeah. Yeah. months? Yeah, um, thank you, coach. Um, yes, um, Maria, you have been as well. I think Emil asked a question already. Um, I just want to congratulate Mops on being a long standing member of this team. Um, he has, you know, contributed exemplary to this um, setup. I would just wish you all the best. Um, any, 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 any thought of slowing down anytime soon, Mops? Oh. <laughs> Unfair one. <laughs> Under the belt. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, thank you first and foremost. And yeah, look, I'm I'm fully aware that I can't play forever. Um, even if you know your head tells you you can. Um, but look, end of the day, I try not to look too far forward. Um, you know, I'm trying to enjoy these games and 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 give everything I can uh for Jamaica while I'm here. Um, you know, I've come off the back of some good form for my club team as well. So um, like I said, for, for me, I'm just trying to not look too far ahead, just concentrating on the here and now. And, um, you know, that's that stood me in good stead so far. So um, I'll continue to do that. Can I steal that question? Can I steal it? <laughs> and and be, be honest in talking from my heart. Normally, when you look at players, you look at some number, uh, how, how old are they? And we have said, we don't care how, how old the players are, if they are 17 or if they... If they are 35, 36, 37, whatever they are. So after the after the Mexico match, um, he was not playing regularly. And in my in back in the back of my mind, it was maybe, maybe it's his time is is come for the national team. But then I watched many of his matches since then. He played every match since Mexico until the end of the season. He was fantastic. So he he's in much better shape now. Than he was when we played Mexico. So this is this is this is something strange. I'm gonna get his diet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank. You. All right, thank you very much, Coach Minzi. Is there anybody else that would like to ask a question? You know, we see some of the traditional media outlets online as well. Jermaine, anything that you would like to ask as well? We'll give a a minute or so if you guys can indicate your hand and proceed with a question as well. So. That is something that we can bear in mind as well. We have a few more minutes that we can be able to accumulate some questions. Football in 90, Jeremy Brown also within the chat as well. Thank you very much for everybody that was able to tune in. Any questions? Coach Minzi, is, is that your hand again? Or yeah, your, yeah. Since say? nobody is utilizing the time, I might as well. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> um, I, I, we just want to want, want to find out um team about Omar Hutchinson. Um, is there any consideration for him going forward? Or because he's a part of the 50 man pool? Yeah, so so just to be be fair on that question and be honest about the about the question, they him and his family uh, are going through a, a lot of changes. He's moving uh, places uh, now, trying to get his himself established at, at Chelsea. So they asked for some time not to play uh, a national team match and we granted that so we are not pushing we are we're giving the family that time so he is not in consideration for the gold cup now but hopefully in the future he will all right i really appreciate that coach no problem thanks very much again coach minzi let's now go to mr blake good afternoon uh coaches and uh good afternoon uh, mr preston and the team um, unfortunately, I've been in the waiting room um, and wasn't able to hear 
So, Coach, if 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 you could um, indulge, uh, could you give your assessment of the game today and what areas of the team you were satisfied with and which areas of the team you have concerns? And part B, uh, what do you plan to do to address any areas of weakness that you've seen for the Jordan game? And that's the first question. I, based on it, I may have one follow-up, uh, Simon. Well, Coach addressed the first part in terms of his assessment of the game, but he can certainly answer your part B at this point. Yeah, yeah. so so uh, I, I said before, uh, I, I wasn't happy with the performance and the result. It was kind of sometimes you, you are happy with the performance, and, but not the result. But I gave the reasons why I think we could have played better. So I'm not going to go into that again. Um, but the, the things that we, we need to prove, improve is, is number one, we, we need much more tempo in what we are doing. Given the reasons I said before, uh, I think that will happen kind of automatically when we start to train regularly and, and, and play more matches. Uh, secondly, I think tactically, we work too much as individuals. And that is what we will be working on the next next days to to sink in to to our tactics, how we are doing things. I think both attacking wise and defensive wise, we were working too much as individuals today. Uh, and sadly, uh, Qatar utilized that and and found openings. Uh, so yeah, that is the maybe the two two things uh, that I, we will spend time on. So the fitness, the sharpness, the tempo, uh, and then the, ta the tactical aspect, both attacking and defensive. Yeah, just a reminder as well, Mr. Blair, that it's one question per, per, per person here. So one for coach and one for, for Adrian. So if you have a question for Adrian as well, you can please proceed as well. Sorry. Um, um, that, that would be Adrian, whom? Adrian Maria, the captain of... Oh, captain. Oh. Um, <laughs> captain of the day. Um, I, I really didn't have any question for the captain, but I just I, I noticed that the coach didn't address when I asked um, what were the areas that he was pleased about or satisfied with. Yeah, there's some some I think players that caught our eye. Uh, the new players seem to gel in quite quickly, so we were pleased with that. Uh, before I said also the, the things like we, we played the match without injuries and that's really important when we when you start to play so early in after stopping for holidays if if you play the, the third day of the training normally you you, you are, are afraid of injury so there were a few things that, that please the eye so uh, yeah these, these probably are the the biggest one for me Thank you, Coach. Um, thank you, Captain. Thank you, Simon. That's the questions that I... Thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Blake. Eddie, you have another question? Yes, thank you very much, Simon. I didn't get to ask a question at the last press conference, so this one is a bonus. All right, guys. Um, this one is for the coach. The JPL players, um, the Mario Phillips came on and did reasonably well. Can we know see a future for JPL players going forward? There's always always room in the national team for good players. Doesn't matter where they come from. Doesn't matter where they come from. I, I think uh, Phillips came in with a, with a power, uh, with, a, with a positive power today. And it was, it was pleasing to see. I rate him, I rate him highly uh, as a player. And he, he comes, of course, straight from a, a season. So he is his fitness level is probably much better than some of the other players. So he's fresh and, and he showed that and it was really good attitude uh, when he came in and he kind of changed the momentum in the game when he came. So I was, I was, I was happy with the Mario. Thank you Thank very you. much. That's it. Thank you very much, Eddie. Anybody else have any questions? If there's no one, um, Mr. President, I'd like to sneak in a question. Coach, um, quickly, are there any additional players who will be joining the team prior to the Jordan game? And 
my, my last intervention would be, uh, can you give us a word on Ronaldo Cephas um, and whether he would be included in the second game or, or are there any reasons for his not inclusion? Thank you very much. And thank you, Simon. No, I guess we are only 17. Of course, normally when you have a national team camp, we, we, we have 23 players. But I think we will, because of we had no injuries here, we're not going to call in more players. Again, just to be totally honest, we tried to get CFAS for this camp because he is in Europe and it was uh, uh, inexpensive to get him flying in from here, but uh, he, he needed to process a, a Schengen visa and that takes a week. So it kind of ruled out the, the possibility of him joining. Thank you and all the best in the next game, coach and captain. Thanks. Thanks, Mr. Blake. And finally, Tigat. Thank you, Simon. Um, Mariapa, I just want to say also congratulations for your long standing with the team. Uh, we really appreciate it and we really appreciate your uh, commitment to the reggae boys. And coach, um, this one is for you. Don't, um, don't worry yourself. I know you get a, a W very soon and we think it's going to come in our next match. So I'm looking forward for that W. You understand? Just look out for Tiga saying congratulations for the first win for the Rugby Boys and good luck for your next game. Thank you. Very nice. Thank you very much, Tiga. And we would also like to say thank you very much as well to Coach Halgrimson and to Adrian Mariapa for, for their time in facilitating this post-match press conference. Thank you very much to you all as well for tuning in. For those of you that are in the group, the, this link will be sent to you so you will have access to this post-match press conference. Don't forget as well to stay updated with all the latest in relation to Jamaican football on Twitter. It is JFF underscore football. Same for Instagram and the new JFF website, jff.football.com and also JFF Live as well on YouTube so that you can get the latest content, interviews with players, a few snippets here and there in terms of players and their, their warm-up from training sessions. So you guys can stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thank you all so much. As you guys know, the next game is on the 19th. That's Monday, and that's 7 a.m. Jamaica time. That's 7 a.m. Jamaica time, and that it will be around 1 p.m. UK time and 2 p.m. local time here in Austria. Thank you all for tuning in, and we'll be in touch quite soon.